Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to see how we can manage provider version in Terraform. So, in last session, we already created a sample Terraform file, so I'll use the same file. So, here we are using the Google provider. We created one resource block to create one sample GCS storage bucket. So, I'll use the same code here. So, first thing uh, we should understand what is provider. So providers are nothing but the plugins which are used to interact with the target API. So what is mean by target API? So if we are creating resource on a Google Cloud, so our target API will be a Google Cloud API. If we are creating resource on Amazon Cloud or AWS using the Terraform, then our target API will be AWS API. So when we are defining the provider here, it will download some plugins and that plugins will interact with the Google API. So here in this case we mentioned provider as a Google. So whenever we execute a Terraform unit what it will do the Terraform will try to check the latest version of the Google provider and it will install the dependency file for this Google Cloud provider. So if I execute Terraform unit here it will initializing provider plugins finding latest version of the HashiCorp Google so this is a Terraform registry so it is finding the latest version in Terraform registry and it found the 4.45.0 is the latest version so it is downloading all the required plugins from this version and you will see dot Terraform file or that Terraform folder will be created here and it will have the dependency files so we'll wait for this to download and install these plugins and it will immediately show the green logs once it is installed these plugins so it might take a few seconds two minutes depending on your internet speed yeah so now you could see it created the terraform folder here and the message the terraform has successfully initialized installed hashicorp google 4.45 dot zero so if i go to this file you could see let me expand this so you could see the version 4.45.0 which is the latest version it found in terraform registry and it download in this dot exe file which will interact with a google api to create our resources now when we execute this or uh, terraform init the one more thing happened here is it will create a, this dot terraform log dot hcl file so this is called a dependency log file so whenever we are executing terraform init and if we are not giving any version it will check the latest version and it will just set this latest version which are being used for this resource creation in the log file if i go to log file it will show you the version so the provider block you will see the version 4.45.0 so that is the version it locked in the dependency log file now suppose if i execute a terraform init again so it will not a download dependency again it will just check in this log file and if the dependencies are met are matching with the log file version and the downloaded one it will not download and install plugins again so let me show you that yeah, so he could see that using previous version of HashiCorp Google from the dependency log file. So this version it already checked in this dependency log file and it is not installing again. If you delete this file again, it will again perform the same action that it will check the latest version from Terraform registry and it will download that dependency file or plugins for the Google provider. Now suppose what happened we don't want to use the latest version or there are some features which are not supported by the latest version and we want to use a specific version or we want to use the version lower dot lower than 4.45.0 so how we can specify that provider version in our terraform file so let me show you so before that i'll just create one terraform block here so what i will just create a terraform block and here I'll just write required provider block here and I'll write 
Google and here you have to specify source so source will be your HashiCorp so I can just pick this source HashiCorp Google in double quote okay and version so if you know the version you can directly specify the version if you don't know the version you can specify 4.45.0 so here I am mentioning anything lower than 4.45 version will be used for this Terraform code okay so I just mentioned version here now if I do Terraform unit it will not use lower version because dependencies are already locked in this log.hcl file so let me show you that so if I execute again okay there is some error let me check why this is an error so terraform required provider not okay so I missed yes you could see providers so I have to give s yes. so let me execute again okay so what it is saying does not match the configuration let me just remove this okay so what is could not return the list of available versions for the provider locked provider does not match configuration of this constraint so we have mentioned this version constraint but in our log file we have this version so what we need to do we'll just start from the scratch we'll just delete this log file and we'll try to run the code again okay now you could see it is checking our constant version matching less than 4.45 so it found 4.44.1 which is the version lower than 4.45 and now it will install the provider plugin from this version and we'll see that also and after that we'll see again the dependency log file what changes are there for the version constant okay so it created log file and we'll see in dot terraform now you could see it have two version but we are using the 4.45 44.1 and now I'll go to lock HCL so here you could see the constraint what constraint we apply like the version should be lower than 4.45.0 now we can directly put this version number or we want to use any specific version we can put equal to in this block so I just made lower than so you can put lower than greater than lower than equal to greater than equal to or you can also put the symbol which should have the version in the series of 4.45. something so we can make that change using the version constraint and we'll see the terraform log file now yeah so it's updated the log file with the constraint so in this way we can manage the terraform provider version and we can create our resources so thank you for watching this video we'll see you again